Hey guys, City Walk, City Wall here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the conveyor belt props that I released on the workshop. You're going to need a few different assets to make these work properly. You're not only going to need the conveyor belt props themselves, you're also going to need the invisible conveyor belt road. And then lastly, you're going to need the actual crates, which replace all your vehicles on the map, as well as the advanced vehicles option mod in order to enable those vehicles. The other thing that you don't need to do this, but it makes it a lot easier, is to get a very thin elevated road. I used the Shuto Expressway One Lane Road by Takachi269, but any road that's about that thickness will work. Once you have all those assets subscribed and you're in game, the first thing you're going to want to do is create your road layout. You want to keep all the nodes level at the same height, you can do that using the Move It mod and you want to keep your angles really sharp for the most part so that it's easier to combine pieces of the conveyor belt. The next thing you're going to want to do off to the side away from anything you're actually working on is create a couple pairs of railings and conveyor props put together right on top of each other so the conveyor and the railing combine to make a single sort of conveyor belt piece. There's conveyors and railings for flat pieces for sloped up pieces and sloped down pieces. And then in terms of the turning left and right pieces, those can be a little bit trickier. One way that you can create good looking versions of the curves is to use procedural objects in order to use the half size rails and do a pair of those on the outside of the curve. Or you can just use those half size rails without procedural objects, but it looks a little bit messier. If you're not creating 90 degree angles and something more like a 45 degree angle or a 30 degree angle, that's even easier because you don't really need to create a whole entire piece for the curve. You can just slap in a little curve piece in between a couple straight pieces and you have yourself a curve without going into too much effort. So once you have all these little combinations of conveyor belts, you're going to want to start copying and pasting them using the Move It mod over the top of your roads that you already laid out. During this process, you're going to probably end up having to move around some of your nodes and segments to line everything up perfectly. If you want your conveyor belts to look especially good, you might want to consider using the Procedural Objects mod in order to turn the railings into procedural objects and then move individual posts so that they line up better with one another. Once you've placed down all the conveyor belt props, the next thing you're going to want to do is replace those roads with the invisible version of the road. One way to do this is to make sure that when you upgrade them, you have the fine road tool mod, which allows you to upgrade them as either elevated or non-elevated roads. If you do non-elevated roads, ground roads, then you have zonable areas and it's easier to place buildings. What's going to happen is it'll pull up the terrain. So in order to fix that, you're probably going to want to subscribe to the Ronix 69 terraforming network asset, which you can then place down in order to hold terrain back to the height that you want it. The very last thing is placing down pillars so it doesn't look like this conveyor belt is floating in midair. You can really use any pillars you want, and you have access to a lot of ones from the vanilla game if you have the Find It mod. You can just search pillar. I like to use the vanilla pedestrian path pillar, but really any pillar works. There's a lot of scenarios where you might have an interchange where a couple different conveyor belts meet up with each other and you don't want to create a very, very complicated system of conveyor belts and you want to just hide all that. So I made a few sets of props in order to cover up some ugliness. The easiest way to do this is just to create a box using as many side pieces as you need. There's in pieces where the conveyor belt animates in, there's out pieces where the conveyor belt animates out, and then there's closed side pieces. It's just a wall. And then there's a roof piece for the very top. You can just build that off to the side and then move it into place with the move it mod afterwards. There's a bunch of other interesting things you can do with these props as well, like have the conveyor belts enter buildings or have a bunch of conveyor belts entering into the same place. You can cover up the top with other things like poppable asphalt or roof networks or really these are pretty versatile props I think. Now that the conveyor belt is actually built, the next thing you're going to want to do is place down buildings. You're probably going to want the Rico mod or the Plop the Growables mod. If you don't want citizens walking around on the conveyor belts, what you're going to want to do is place down a pedestrian path at 
ground level underneath each and every one of your conveyor belts. The very last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that there's no cars driving around on the conveyor belts. To do this, open the Advanced Vehicle Options mod and go through each and every category and disable all the cars that aren't crates from spawning. Because I made this whole system and specifically the vehicles for my City Skylines Mars series, there's no ambulances, fire trucks, or police car versions of these crate vehicles. So if you want only crates to be driving around in these conveyor belts, what I do is I disable fires from happening using the no fires mod and I have my ambulances and police cars replaced with helicopters from the Natural Disasters DLC. You'll still need a hospital in order to actually treat patients and to spawn the helicopters you can either use the vanilla helicopter depots or you can use the invisible one by one spawn point variety pack by Ninja Noob Slayer. So that's about it. That's how you create a conveyor belt road system in City Skylines. If you want to see in more detail how I've used it, definitely head over to my City Skylines Mars YouTube series. If you liked what you saw, definitely subscribe for more tutorials like this and follow me on the Steam Workshop to see whenever I release more assets. Both of those links, as well as links to all the mods and assets that I mentioned, are in the description of this video below. But that's it for me, City Walk, City Wall, and I'll see you all next time.